Have you ever found yourself praying, but feeling like your words barely reached the ceiling, let alone touched the heart of God? Maybe you've wondered, am I praying the right way? Is God truly listening? You are not alone. Discover effective prayer practices that can transform your spiritual experience and deepen your connection. Many people have felt that way and it can be discouraging, but I want to tell you today that prayer is one of the most powerful tools God has given us. And you can pray with the kind of power that moves mountains, changes lives, and brings heaven to earth. I invite you to stay with me till the end. Let every word of this prayer sink into your spirit. Watch it again and again. Let it become the rhythm of your soul and witness the mighty hand of God move powerfully in your life. Stay connected and uplifted. Hit that subscribe button now and ensure you never miss a moment of inspiration and prayer from our channel. Join our community and let your spirit be nourished with every video. Prayer is not just a religious ritual or a set of memorized phrases that we repeat without thinking. True, effective prayer is a powerful living conversation with God. It is an intimate exchange where we invite God to work in our lives and through it, we align ourselves with his will. But how do we make sure that we are not just praying, but praying with power? How do we know our prayers are effective and heard by the one who holds the universe in his hands? The Bible teaches us how to pray with power. And today we will explore some of the most effective practices that will transform your prayer life as you learn these principles and begin to apply them, you will experience breakthroughs, healings, blessings, and miracles. Let us start by understanding the importance of coming to God with the right heart and mindset. James chapter 5 verse 16 tells us, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This means our hearts must be in alignment with God's will for our prayers to carry true power. When we pray from a place of righteousness, humility, sincerity, and faith, our prayers become unstoppable. It is not about being perfect or sinless. It's about seeking God with an honest heart, repenting when necessary, and having faith that he can and will answer. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Here, Paul reminds us of two key practices, gratitude and petition. When we pray, we are called to first thank God for his goodness and faithfulness. Gratitude shifts our perspective from fear and lack to faith and abundance, and then we make our requests known, trusting God to hear us and act. Mark chapter 11 verse 24 gives us another important key, faith. Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. This is one of the most powerful principles of prayer, believing before you see the answer. Faith is the currency of heaven. When you pray with faith, you are declaring that God is able and you are trusting that your answer is already on the way but sometimes we don't even know how to pray or what to say. That is where Romans chapter 8 verse 26 brings comfort. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. This means that even when we are at a loss for words, God's Spirit intercedes on our behalf. So never feel inadequate in prayer. Even your silent cries are understood by God. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 reminds us of the confidence we can have in prayer. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Praying according to God's will ensures that our prayers are in alignment with His perfect plans. This means we surrender our desires, trusting that God knows what is best. As we seek to pray with power, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8 teaches us to lift up holy hands in prayer without anger or dispute. A heart full of love, peace, and forgiveness is a fertile ground for a powerful prayer. That is the heart that opens. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 encourages us to 
Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Praying in the Spirit simply means allowing God to guide your prayers. It's being sensitive to the prompting of the Holy Spirit and letting Him lead you as you pray. Finally, Jesus reminds us in Matthew chapter 21, verse 22, that if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Faith is at the core of powerful prayer. When you pray, believe that God not only hears you, but is moving in response to your prayers. As we go deeper, I want to encourage you to watch till the end. I will be leading you through some powerful prayers that will bring breakthrough, healing, and blessings in your life. You will not only learn how to pray with power, but you will also be guided into an intimate, spirit-led conversation with God. Play this video several times. Let the words sink into your heart. Confidently enter into a time of prayer, knowing that God is not only able to answer, but is eager to bless us as we seek Him. Um, let us now pray to our Savior. In the mighty, precious, and all-powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Mighty God, Lord of the universe, we come before you today with hearts full of praise and thanksgiving. We worship you for who you are, and we stand in awe of your goodness. You are the creator of the universe, yet you care so much about every detail of our lives. We bless your holy name for your faithfulness, your mercy, and your unfailing love. Thank you for the gift of life, for your protection, and for the many blessings you have poured upon us. We recognize that everything we have is a gift from you, and we do not take your kindness for granted. We lift up our hands in thanksgiving, praising you for who you are. Lord, as we come before you, we humbly plead for forgiveness. In any way we have sinned against you and fallen short of your glory, we ask for mercy. Whether it was done knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, Father, please forgive us of our iniquities. Wash us and make us clean. Help us to live a holy and acceptable life before you. Father God, we lay our needs before you. We acknowledge that we are in need of your grace, your guidance, and your provision. Father, we ask that you supply every need according to your riches in glory. Meet us in the areas where we lack whether it be financially, emotionally, spiritually, or physically. We bring our needs to you, trusting that you hear us and that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine. Lord, we pray that you would open doors where there seem to be none, make a way in the wilderness and provide streams in the desert. We ask for your supernatural provision in our lives, knowing that you are Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. And we wait with expectant hearts, knowing that you will answer in your perfect timing. Father, we stand in the gap for our brothers and sisters today. We lift up those who are suffering, those who are in need, and those who are far from you. We ask that you draw near to them, Lord, that you would reveal yourself to them in ways they have never experienced before. For the lost, we pray for salvation. For the brokenhearted, we ask for comfort. For the oppressed, we declare freedom in Jesus' name. For those in bondage, we pray for deliverance. Sweet Father, let your light shine in the darkest places and let your love break through every barrier. We intercede for the nations, for our communities, for our families, and for every person in need of your touch. Lord, let your hand move like never before to restore calm and tranquility. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of all good things. Every blessing, every good and perfect gift comes from you alone. Lord, we humbly ask for your blessings over our lives, our families, our work, and our spiritual journeys. Pour out your blessings upon us, O God, blessings of peace, joy, love, and favor in every area of our lives. 
We pray for the blessings of financial provision and wisdom to steward all you have entrusted to us. Lord, you have said in your word that you know the plans you have for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. We claim this promise today, believing that your blessings are not just material, but spiritual, and that they lead us into the fullness of life you have planned for us. May we be a blessing to others as you bless us, that your name would be glorified through our lives. We ask for these blessings in faith, knowing you will bless us abundantly because you are a good, good Father. Lord, you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Your word declares that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. Today, we stand in the gap for all those who are sick and suffering, whether in body, mind, or spirit. We ask for your powerful healing touch to rest upon them. Where there is pain, we ask that you bring relief. Where there is disease, we ask that you restore health. Where there is brokenness, we ask that you make whole. Father God, we lift up those in hospitals, those battling chronic illness, and those struggling with mental health. We speak life, healing, and restoration over every cell, every organ, every system of their bodies in Jesus' name. You, Lord, are the ultimate physician, and nothing is too difficult for you. We pray for miracles of healing to manifest in the lives of those who need it today. Let your healing power flow through them now and bring wholeness and strength. Almighty God, we come before you, asking for a fresh outpouring of your Spirit upon our lives. We know that in our own strength we can do nothing, but with you all things are possible. Father, we ask that you fill us with your power, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. Empower us to do mighty exploits in your name, not for our glory, but for yours. Your word says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, that we will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, and we will be your witnesses to the ends of the earth. We ask for that power today, the power to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, to cast out demons, and to live a life that reflects your love and truth. We pray for boldness, courage, and strength to stand firm in our faith, to be lights in the darkness, and to fulfill the great commission you have entrusted to us. Lord, we recognize that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Today, we put on the full armor of God, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we wage war against every plan of the enemy. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment we condemn. We break every chain, every stronghold, every lie of the enemy that seeks to hinder us from walking in your will. Father, we claim the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus. We declare freedom peace, and breakthrough in every area of our lives, for we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Lord, we acknowledge that the enemy seeks to steal, kill, and destroy, but you came that we may have life and have it abundantly. Today we ask for the strength to resist the enemy and stand firm in our faith. Help us to recognize the schemes of the enemy and to respond with the truth of your word. Give us the strength to say no to temptation, to resist the lies of the enemy, and to walk in the victory that you have already won for us. We declare that we will stand firm in the face of adversity, trusting in your power and strength to see us through. O oh, Father, we come before you today asking for your divine protection over our lives and the lives of our loved ones. We plead the blood of Jesus over our homes, 
our workplaces, our vehicles, and every aspect of our lives. Lord, we ask that you guard us from every form of misfortune, including death, accidents, and sickness. Your word promises that you will command your angels concerning us to guard us in all our ways. We claim that promise today, asking for your supernatural protection to surround us like a shield. We declare that no harm shall come near us, no disaster shall overtake us. For you are our refuge and fortress, our God in whom we trust. We rebuke every plan of the enemy to bring harm, sickness, or destruction upon us. We speak life, health, and safety over our families, our friends, and ourselves. Lord, fill us with your power. Empower us to do mighty exploits in your name. We know that apart from you, we can do nothing, but with you, all things are possible. We ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that we may walk in boldness and authority, declaring your word and performing your works. Help us to be vessels of your power, bringing light into darkness and hope into despair. Lord, we continue to lift up our hearts in prayer. We ask for your wisdom to guide us in all our decisions, for your peace to guard our hearts and minds, and for your joy to fill our lives. We pray for unity in our families, in our churches, and in our communities. We ask that you pour out your Spirit upon us, that we may walk in the fullness of your love and grace. We ask for a deeper hunger for your word, a greater passion for prayer, and a heart that seeks after you above all else. Lord, teach us to pray with power, to seek you earnestly, and to trust in your timing and will. Help us to be persistent in prayer, knowing that you hear us and that your answers are always for our good. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for hearing our prayers, for responding to our cries, and for the miracles, blessings, and breakthroughs that are on the way. We trust in your goodness and faithfulness, and we submit our lives into your hands. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare these prayer blessings upon you. Please subscribe and like our videos to help us reach more people. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.